and Gettys is known for whimsical images like these. And now the world-renowned photographer is using her talents to raise awareness about a life-threatening disease. Be reassured, this is a relatively rare, but it's extremely deadly. It is meningococcal disease, a bacterial infection that spreads through close contact. The onset may look just like the flu. You start to develop maybe unusual symptoms, severe headache, neck stiffness, rash appears on your body, a striking rash, and as Anne said, you could be dead within 24 hours. California has been hit hard by meningococcal disease over the last few years. In 2013, there was an outbreak at UC Santa Barbara. And a year later, a San Diego State student died from the disease. It's stories like these that inspired Ann Getty's new photographic series, Protecting Our Tomorrows, Portraits of Meningococcal Disease. It was just a no-brainer for me to want to get involved and keep passing the message on. The series features survivors from around the world, each nestled in a symbolic bird's nest. They're designed to be hidden, but they represent love and protection, and family, and really most importantly, a deceptive strength. And I think that's the thread through the images of these 15 survivors. While some of them are terribly damaged, within themselves, they are just wonderful human beings and they're so positive. Just six months prior to her photo shoot, five-year-old Victoria lost her legs and some of her fingers to meningococcal disease. She was the saddest little girl I've ever met in my 30 years of photography. Her family brought her from Spain to London in the hope that to be photographed by me would be a great part of her rehabilitation process. And um, she came into the studio and she just didn't speak for an hour and a half. And, and uh, the, the wonders of digital photography this was just incredible. As soon as she saw herself on the screen, a little smile started to appear on her face and she gradually started chatting. And I said to her dad, what is she saying? And he said, she's saying, I want to stay and do more photographs. So to me, that was just enormously gratifying. Another young survivor, Harvey from the UK, sent Gettys a letter. Saying for the first time in his life, he was proud of his amputations. So that's validation enough, I think. But for Gettys, it's not about the validation. It's about getting the message across to parents to know the warning signs and get their children vaccinated. As a parent, you know your child better than anybody else, and so trust your instincts. And if you think it's something worse than the flu, jump up and down and make sure your child gets instant medical attention. You can learn much more about meningococcal disease and see all of the portraits in the series in the new Ann Gettys iBook, Protecting Our Tomorrows. It's available for free in the Apple iBook store. Bringing you the best of California, I'm Audra Stafford for California Life.